Take number 743.4. Hello everyone, I'm Manic Mink. This is uh, European of Alice 4 after our last disastrous... Uh, hey, wouldn't it be nice if all your save games got screwed over because... Um, decided to do something a little bit different. Uh, and uh, play multiplayer. Because why the hell not? Um... So yeah, we're playing multiplayer with uh, with Jesse here. Hey, see, real people, <laughs> real people, they're real. Um, I am a computer. Be bop boop. <laughs> boop a doop a doop. Um. So yeah, so we're playing uh, multiplayer. Figured why not? I don't really play much in the way of multiplayer, and I especially don't play much colonization. Um. So I'm playing as Spain, Jesse up here in France. Uh, and in addition to colonization, uh, we're also, hold on, let me, uh, why don't you go and protect trade in Seville, thank you, and go home when you're at war, awesome, cool, 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 and building a boat. Um, also have random new world on, because I haven't played with a new, new random new world. Uh, and I thought, why not? And also, they've changed the map a whole bunch. Um, as you can see, you have, like, impassable mountain terrain, and France starts off basically being eaten by England. And, yeah, just a bunch of different... different things. Thank you, sir. I will take that. I will go and do this. Go and do this. I will go and do... Try to actually do the improve relation quests now before I get rid of my air. My air is a zero, 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 which is basically like, I think he's just a mop. Like, literally, we just put a mop in place and are acting like that's a person. Um, so I'm going to hold off on killing my prestige. So I'm going to try to vassalize Navarra and prove relations with the Papal State now before that kicks into effect. We'll however up my admin points because I know I'm going to need those. Uh, we're gonna sit back and wait for. Uh... So why am I building all of these ships here? Stop building that ship here. You uh, build a ship there. Thank you. Build my ships more evenly, please. Don't stack them all up in one province. That would be crappy. So, uh, Jesse, what is your goal for up here right now? I have allied with Aragon. I'm going to sit and wait for England to attack me. Yes, uh, so that is another new thing that we have discovered in our billion failed attempts. Um, England has a decision, or has a has an event. I don't know if it's an event or a decision that they actually have. Basically, does it say, like, give up your core on main, or...? I think so, and it's like, you either defend it, or you just give it up, yeah. So it's either go to war, or... don't. Um... And basically, yeah, the smart decision is go to war. Um, so that's basic, and it happens pretty quickly. We had it happen literally like the third day uh, where they started attacking. So we're ready for uh, ready for war. Um, and I am going to be basically fabricating claims on Portugal because I don't like other people colonizing. I like me colonizing, and that's it. So. I'm going to be fabricating claims on Portugal and attempt to take as much of their land as possible once uh, once a war breaks out, basically. 
Uh, and I'm also trying to improve relations with the Pope. And vassalize Navarra here. All of which would be valuable things to do. As well as I gotta get rid of my heir before I die. She has a infertile zero zero zero. <sighs> Literally the worst. Like Ah, royal marriage, yes, I will accept that. Yeah, I had a I had a raunchy little nephew there who was like infertile. That's the exact type of person I want to marry. Perfect. Uh, so you hate England, Burgundy, and Austria. I'm trying to see if there's some way to game the Burgundian inheritance so that I get their land, maybe. Not that I actually want it, I'd probably just make it into a vassal and leave it alone, but it'd be nice to uh, actually have somebody, huh. Huh, excuse me, somebody other than Austria get it, because that would make things annoying. For they are Austria, destroyer of dreams. I hate you so much. <laughs> so much. Me? No, Austria. Oh, I was gonna say, what did I do? <laughs> I was just being nice. No. Uh, slow going at the start because I don't actually have claims on. <gasps> Jesse, there's a button to fabricate a claim. What? You could just do that. You don't have to use spy stuff. You can just click and fabricate a claim. What? Yeah. Um. So select select a country or a province. Hold on. Hey, wait a minute. Why does this say? Okay. Select a country. Okay. Yeah. And then there's a button uh, where, where cores and claims are. There's a button that says fabricate claim. Spent 85 admin points to core this province. Total cost of 85 is given. Hold or, on, where are you? Wait a minute. Is that just. Cores and claims. Fabricate claim. Oh. No, it needs a spy network. No, never mind. I was all excited. I didn't realize that because I was clicking on Portugal that I already had a spy network being built. I was. I'm sorry. Just the worst. I was, I was all excited. It didn't look like there was something a cool button to happen, and instead it lied. And I was buttonless. Okay, so I've solidified paper relations, finish the Reconquista, improve our relations with Portugal. Portugal is my rival. I don't actually want to improve relations with them. I would love to get that mission that's like, hey, take province from Portugal. Or vassalize Navarra, something that I'm already doing. That'd be just the best. I mean, I like finish the Reconquista because... I'm gonna be doing it anyway, but it'd be super cool to just get like a mission that wasn't that. Yeah, so with uh Sorry, I'm yawning in the middle of this. Um with the the quest or not the quest for the new world, with the random new world, um we're basically gonna see Sort of what the new new world generator gives you, and from to my understanding, the last patch, or the last big expansion, I guess, really updated what it does. Um, changed a lot, add a lot, made a lot more robust. So I'm excited to see sort of what happens with it. Um, 
149. What else can I do here? Uh... <sighs> well, that's a decision. Um, Poland decided not to form their personal union again. That's weird. I've been seeing that a lot um, lately, that they don't actually form the personal union over Lithuania, but it's strange and unusual that it happens, so I don't know. Is that, is that like a racism thing? Like, ah, those dirty Lithuanians don't want them. I don't know. I mean, like, I, well, I sort of do. Every every decision basically has a certain um, percentage on each end to go, yes, I will do this. No, I will not do this. There's got to be some that it's like, yeah, of course. Because... Well, there's a lot of them that it's like pretty much like 100% of the time. You're never going to see one that doesn't um, Iberian Wedding, the union with Lithuania. Those are ones that, again, typically speaking, I don't think I've ever seen them not take it up until these most recent patches. So, I don't know. Maybe it's something new that they've added to where... Yeah, do something or something. I don't know. Fuck. But it's, it's weird because it completely upsets the balance of power in the area. So it's like, really, these two are built to go together and to go, nah, I'm not going to do it. It's like, uh, huh? Sorry? What, what did you just decide? Does it have anything to do with the random new world? No, I don't think so. Um, random new world shouldn't affect anything other than literally the generation of countries in the new world. Um... I think they actually generate new, like entirely new countries, not like Inca and Aztec and stuff like that. Um, and I know that there is at least some likelihood now of having uh, basically fantasy elements in the new world. So Ooh. like, oh, like Western tech countries. Oh, I was thinking like elves. No, but that would be really cool if they did. Um, right? Yeah. That's more a Crusader Kings kind of thing, to be honest. Brittany is pirating my trade node? Oh. Oh. Dirty pirates. Brittany, I trusted you. So you were Britannish. I remember when I go to war with Granada that there's actually a land bridge between Iberia and Africa now. Right here. Well, things are not happening this game that I want them to. Kind of wanted to be in a war right now. Not uh, doing it. And I already lost my leader. Oh, your good one? My good uh, fighter general. Hmm. Well, I mean, I can declare on uh, Portugal here pretty soon. Yeah, I can also declare right now if I wanted to. But that'll take in like a lanester. Well, if I declare on Portugal, only England will come in. So, that's an option. Uh, lanester is a vassal, I think. Are they? Yeah. Uh, yes, they are. Well, Leinster will come in if they're a vassal anyway, like regardless, yeah, yeah. if you end up in a war with England. So what I would really like is... Up the speed a little bit. Fabricate claim on... Algarve, thank you. 
need to vassalize Navarra, then I am going to... Personal Union. Huh? Oh. They're in a personal union under me. Okay, well. Problem solved. It's like, just like, hey, here you go. Yeah, basically just a free personal union. Ah, though it does cause a problem. Because it now means that lowering my prestige by getting rid of my leader will be bad. I might just have to suck it up and have terrible technology for a while. God help me. Um, I could also wait until February 48. Finish the Reconquista instead. Guess I'll plan for that, because I'm still building up spy efficiency on Portugal. I've liked for England to take that decision. To force a war with you. Yeah, I don't know if it's, like, come and gone, or... If it's gonna happen here momentarily, or... Uh, of course, I get a terrible general. Hmm. Slow episode, but... there also apparently the uh the rate at which you um improve relations decreases the higher your relations are which is super annoying so it's improving relations with the vassals is just that much harder <laughs> Well, Portugal and Aragon and everything. Oh shit, seriously? It's really annoying. I hate it when that happens, man. Because I really don't want to go to war with Aragon. I really want to leave them alone. I should have just attacked Portugal. Fuck. Dude, Aragon's my ally. Well, aren't you just special? Maybe that's why England didn't go up against me. It's too powerful. Probably, if you have another extra ally, that isn't gonna make them wanna attack you less. I can still take out Portugal by um, declaring on England. That will be handy. Whoop. Well, not gonna be able to siege through this stuff anymore. Not gonna be able to get across the strait because I'm apparently at war with Granada, Morocco, and Tunis. Which is just fun. Uh, oh, and of course I declared on the wrong province too. See, if I was smart, I would have declared on one of the provinces that I can just siege through in one go. Not their capital, which then takes me forever to siege. Which then, once I siege through, I then have to, uh... Please tell me... Oh, thank God, Navarra has a siege leader. 
Hey, where are the roses? No, no, Navara, stay. Stay, Navara. I need you to stay. It's important for you to assist me in this siege. Because you have a siege leader and you'll make it go slightly faster. Who's at war with who? So, Morocco's at war with Tlemcen and me. Hmm. Well, I mean, War of the Roses is fired if you wanted to go to war with um, England. Now would be the time. Just let me know if you want to yeah, I do. Okay. Forget you. I'm gonna ask with. All right, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take my troops, send them down to Portugal. Okay. I'm also, I'm also gonna have some troops up here. Because England's not going to have a lot of troops. Man, I really wish I could just tell Navarra to march a, like three feet to the left. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 they may be doing it. Maybe. Are they gonna go? Is it gonna be enough to siege through? No. But they're there, and that. They're there, and that's something. Anyways, I am ready when you are. To oh, attack okay. Portugal. Main. Let me fabricate one more claim on Coimbra. I'm gonna catch them in Porto here, north. I'm coming. Uh, Provence is offering us a loan. I don't. I don't want a loan though. Provence. I'm just gonna start carpet sieging. Uh... Oh, I gotta go take care of rebels. So dumb. Okay, yeah, you go deal with the rest of that. I can handle this here on. So, fun fact I gave money to the supporters in War of the Roses, and they popped in my town. You know, if you actually hold on and wait, um, they might teleport to England. I am not going to... I'm hoping something like that will happen. Because these guys have a French flag next to them, and I'm hoping that... Wouldn't that mean we want to be French? Um, it means they're being supported by you. 
Oh. Which is good. Still good. Yeah, but if it if they hold it for a long time, will it become mine? No. Well. Well then. Um, my hope, though, is that what will happen sometimes is if rebels can't do, you know, take a province or do something, they will actually teleport off to somewhere else. No, they're just walking back up to where. Oh, they're part of my army. Sweet. Part of not having enough troops to do literally anything that I want to do. So I don't have enough troops to siege through. Wherever the hell this is, I don't have enough troops to... Well, I have enough troops to siege through Lisboa, but it's a slow process. I don't have enough troops to actually stop them from getting from Ceuta to here. Hey, Portugal is no longer my historic friend. I wonder why. It's because of the murder. <laughs> yeah, but they're, like, historically... They still were your friend. Or have you burned all of the history books? I have burned all the history books probably at this point. This army down then, kill them. Stupid Portugal and Moorish people working together. Oh, they wanted to do that because that's where my boats are. Good. Clever girl. Okay, Siege of Lisboa is over. You can go down there. 
can dedicate at least one army to actually sieging through this stuff. Do you want to let me peace out Portugal so that you stay in the war? Um... Yeah, definitely. So, uh, what I would need, um, I need, if you can, well, if you can give me Madeira, Azores, um, Madeira and Azores would be the, the highest priorities. Can you do either of those, or can you do both of those? You're talking about the little things out in the sea? Yeah, yeah. You may have to do them by province name, because we can't actually see them. Yeah, no, you have to be holding it for me to transfer it to you. Why don't you see what you can get? Cannot separate peace between two junior partners. Well, I can get you the parts on the coast. We didn't think this whole thing through, but that's fine. Um, so yeah, give me the ones that I have claims on. Um, Algarve, Coimbra, and Porto. And give you Porto and Coimbra. Mm. Where do you want the bottom one? Uh, no, I can't get you that one. No, I can only get you these ones. Yeah, that's fine. Then those two. I'll just have to go to war with them again. Oh, and see if you can break their alliance with Aragon. I cannot. I need a little bit more. If you're able to siege their Moroccan province. Um. Probably not because of the fact that other people will blockade me and get in the way. Um. Give me one of the provinces and then. Uh, give me Porto, and then break their alliance with Aragon. So honestly, that's more important to me, is their alliance with Aragon. Let's see if you can do that. You. Truce with you lasts until sixty two. It's not that bad. And then it will attack you again for your delicious, delicious provinces. Meanwhile, negative 42% on this siege. 